Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. There's always room for. My name is Kim and today we are making a wedding veil. I've got some tool. I've got a little pack of hair combs and some pearl beads because I'll be sewing them onto the veil. We are making a veil for my twin sister. My twin sister Veronica is my very best friend and it is finally her turn to get married. I am thrilled that I can finally spoil her. She has kindly and generously asked me to be her maid of honor and I am so excited to take on the role. I am honored to be the maid of honor and I just feel like I've been training for this my entire life. I'm so excited. So my very first wedding related project is this veil that she'll be wearing to her church ceremony. So one of the best parts about being maid of honor is that I get to be the one that helps her find her wedding dress. So we've been dress shopping and one time we went to Beholden and she was trying on dresses and she put on this one veil and it was embellished with pearls. It was so beautiful. The only problem was that it cost $300. And if you were ever a bride or you helped plan a wedding, you know the costs really add up really quickly. So I begged my sister to let me make this. And I don't think she doubted my abilities. I think she just didn't want me to spend the time. But I'm so happy to be doing these things for her. So I just, I begged her to let me do this. So I spent less than $30 so far on all of the materials. All it's really gonna take is time. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I'm making my twin sister's fingertip length wedding veil embellished with pearl beads. Let's get started. You will need a bag of assorted pearl beads. I chose this variety pack. They had ivory and white pearls and I picked ivory. I ended up using the four and six millimeter pearls from this bag and purchasing a separate bag of three millimeter pearl beads. You'll also need a needle. Self-threading needles would be super helpful to use if you're planning on adding lots of beadwork, since you'll be threading the needle plenty of times. You'll also need hair combs. I picked gold. I had to order these from Amazon way in advance. The gold ones were harder to get a hold of. Truthfully, you won't see the comb once it's on the bride's head, but for aesthetic purposes, I'm all about the gold details. You'll need a spool of white all-purpose thread. You'll want to use a sturdy thread to make sure it will hold the beads in place. Finally, you'll need your tool or mesh fabric. As you can see, I had a few bundles of tool laying around. Be sure to choose a shade that is closest to the bride's dress. Keep in mind, tool tends to be more sturdy and mesh tends to be more flowy. You'll also need either a really sharp pair of scissors or a rotary cutter and cutting board. For the smoothest lines, I highly suggest using the rotary cutter. Start by laying out your fabric for measuring. The length of fabric you'll need depends on the type of veil you want. See the comment box for measurements. Then you'll be cutting your fabric to size. This was probably the most stressful part because I really wanted the fabric to be even and I wanted the edges to be cut cleanly. Because my cutting surface was on the smaller side, I had to do a lot of folding and needed to make sure the edges lined up perfectly. Once you have your fabric cut out, fold it in half lengthwise and pin it together to hold it in place. I pinned along the edge of the veil, giving me a rough estimate of where I wanted to cut so that I could align this with my cutting mat. At the bottom corner of your veil, you'll want to outline a rounded corner and then continue on with a straight line to the center of your fabric. You should think of this as cutting a large rounded L shape. Because my cutting mat was narrow, I needed to fold in the already folded edge onto itself, but if you have a larger cutting mat, you won't need to do this. Once you're happy with your rounded L shape, take your rotary cutter and do your best to cut a smooth, straight line, creating the rounded edge when you get closer to the bottom and cutting all the way through to the end. If 
feel free to trim any rough edges if necessary. Next, it's time to bunch up the veil. Lay out the fabric completely. Both of your rounded edges should be on the end furthest from you, while the two sharp edges should be closest to you. Cut a piece of thread that is twice the width of the veil, from sharp corner to sharp corner. Thread it through a needle and double knot the end. Starting at one of the sharp corners, use the needle to stitch through the fabric, going over and under the fabric in about one inch stitches, making very loose pleats in an accordion-like fashion until you get to the other sharp corner end. When you get to the other end, Pull the thread to gather the fabric. It will spring together like an accordion. Gather the fabric to the width of your hair comb. Mine measured about 4 inches, so I bunched up the fabric to get a 4 inch width. When you're happy with the width, double knot the thread to secure the pleats and trim the excess thread. Now, sew the mesh to the hair comb. You'll want to take the comb and place it on your head and make sure you're going to sew the veil onto the right side of the comb. You should line up the inside of the curved part of the comb with the edge of your gathered fabric. Use sturdy thread and stitch X shapes in between each comb tooth along the top edge. I started and ended my stitches in the middle of the comb so that the thread knots at each end would be more hidden. Trim the excess thread and then carefully trim the excess tool or mesh at the edge of the seam to make a clean, neat edge. I actually ended up making two veils. This one is made from mesh, and this one is made from tulle. I wanted you to see the difference between the way the fabric flows. Next, it's time to sew the pearls into the veil. This is what took the most time, but once I got the hang of the process, it went really quickly. Each pearl had six knots to secure it in place. The first two knots are the ones that I used at the end of the thread to tie the ends of the thread together. Starting from the back of the veil, bring the needle to the front of the veil and pull through, being sure to stop just before the knot makes its way through the tool. Then, push your needle through one nearby fiber of the tool and knot the thread around that fiber. This is the anchoring knot, knot number three. This step ensures that the thread is actually attached to the fabric. Then, string through your pearl bead. Bring your needle and thread to the back of the tool to secure the pearl in place and create the fourth knot. Again, grab a fiber of the tool that's nearby and create a knot around that fiber, anchoring it in. This is knot number five. Add one more knot to secure.
pull the two threads apart to tighten that sixth knot. And then, very carefully, trim the thread. I always held my breath at this step because any wrong move could result in me accidentally cutting through the tool, which would ruin the veil completely. You can fix any messed up knots and carefully undo them or cut them out, but you cannot undo any cuts that were made on tool. Take your time with this step. Let's see the process again. This is knot number three, where we're anchoring it to the fabric. The first two knots were the ones that I added to the thread before anchoring. Now I'm threading the pearl bead onto the thread. Bringing the needle to the back of the fabric. Adding one knot. Adding an anchoring knot on the back. And giving it the final knot. Pulling the threads apart to secure that knot. and then carefully trimming the thread. Now it's time to repeat this process over 200 times on the actual veil. As I went on and added more and more beads, I like to stop and hold the veil up every so often to see where it needed more pearls. I did a lot of clusters of three pearls, concentrating most of the heavy pearl work at the top of the veil with less beading at the bottom as though they were trickling off. So the wedding is three days away and I finally finished sewing all of the pearls onto this veil. Um, as you can see, it's just a little bit wrinkled, so I'm gonna give it a quick steam and we'll see how it looks. All done. And that's a wrap on my tutorial for how to make a hand beaded fingertip length veil. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making this and I'm really glad I filmed the process. Initially when my sister and I were shopping for dresses, we fell in love with a veil that was $300 at Anthropology, and altogether this veil cost me $20 to make. I did however spend a lot of time sewing these little pearl beads into the veil, but I do think that um, Making something handmade for my sister as she walks down the aisle will make her day just a little bit more special. Thanks so much for tuning in and following along. My name is Kim, and don't forget, there is always room for crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Who's ready to get married? <laughs> Will I be making these for sale or for anyone else in the future? Absolutely not, but I will do anything for my twin sister. So I was so happy to complete this project.